All right, so today we're going to discuss symmetry, uh, line symmetry and rotational symmetry. So first we're going to talk about line symmetry. A figure does have line symmetry. if the figure can be mapped onto itself by a line of reflection. So again, it's kind of like if you're folding your paper right down the center of the figure, does it look the same on one side and the other? So is it split in half? Basically, a line of symmetry would split it in half, and it'd be all the vertices would match up. So if we look at this first figure here, you can see we, there's not really a line we can split it. So actually, this figure has no lines of symmetry or zero lines of symmetry. You can see here in our pentagon shape that if we split it down that line, that then it would be a mirror image of itself on each side of the line of reflection, so one line of symmetry. You can see here in the triangle, if we split it through each vertice, it would be the same. So this one actually has three lines of symmetry and a circle, you see a circle, no matter where you draw that line, a circle is going to look exactly the same. So circles usually have an infinite amount of line symmetry. Now what I want you to also pay attention to here is that this pentagon has one line of symmetry, however, this polygon has three lines of symmetry. The difference between them is that this one is not regular, and this one is regular. And the difference between those, what regular means is that all the angles are the same and all the sides are the same. And you can see here in these angles, like that one would be an acute angle, however this one would be an obtuse angle. So since the angles are different measures, it's not going to be regular. So when it's regular, it does not have as many lines of symmetry. Just like here, this one is regular. So all these angles are the exact same size and all the sides are also congruent. So when you have three equal sides, then you can easily split it into three different ways. So that's kind of how kind of you can look at lines of symmetry. If it is regular and it has three congruent sides, three lines of symmetry. Now let's talk about rotational symmetry. A figure will have rotational symmetry. If the figure, so this should say figure, thank you, spell check. If the figure is mapped onto itself by rotating the figure, and this is the key here for rotational symmetry, is that it must be less than a 360 degree turn. So again, we're rotating on a circle, so think all the way around a circle is 360 degrees. So what you want to look for is if you took a figure and turned it, how many degrees would it take to look exactly the same? So if we're looking at this first figure, see kind of it has two pieces that are exactly the same. So if you turned this and just turned it pretty much halfway around, it would look exactly the same. So if you take 360, and if we only have halfway around, because see we have two equal pieces, if we do 360 divided by 2, that gives us 180. So every 180 degrees, this image will look just like itself, so it would be exactly the same. Here on this one, we have these arrows. Well, the way, again, you can determine rotational symmetry is if you think about you have 360 to turn, this has basically three equal parts because this one is one, here is two, three. So if you take 360 divided by three, you get 120. So what that's saying is like every 120 degrees, that image is going to look exactly like that. Okay, a star, here we have one, two, three, four, five congruent kind of pieces or arms of the star. 360, if you take that and divide it by five, would be 72 degrees. So every 72 degrees, that star is going to look just like you see it right there. The smiley face. So if we're taking the smiley face here and we're turning it, we want it to say, when is it going to look exactly the same? Well, if we turn it 180 degrees, right, it's going to look like that. So it's not going to look the same. 
So basically, when you have this type of figure that's circular with a specific design inside, this does not have rotational symmetry because it takes to go all the way around. And that's what the key is over here. It has to be less than 360. Less than 360. If you have to go all the way to 360, that's not considered rotational symmetry. All right, so we're going to determine if these figures have line and or rotational symmetry, and then we're going to state how many lines and how many degrees. So here, this is a hexagon, and basically what we have here in the hexagon is like this is a regular hexagon. And I'm going to tell you it's a regular hexagon, so we're going to kind of add that on there. So being regular, that means all the sides are the same length and all the angles are the same. With it being regular, that means it's then going to have, if it has six equal sides, you're going to have six lines of symmetry. So you can split it down through the center, through the middle, then through each vertex, if you split it here, so that's three, four, you can also split it here, five, and one more, six. So that's six lines of symmetry. And again, remember when we're doing rotational symmetry, we always start with 360, and we're going to divide it by the number of equal sides or equal patterns in the figure. And so it's 6, so this has rotational symmetry of 60 degrees. All right, if we look at the lightning bolt here, we can't split it there, we can't split it, so really there are no lines of symmetry because that is not symmetrical at all. And if we think about turning this figure, if we turn it, it's only going to look like itself if we go all the way around. So this one also has no rotational symmetry. Okay, the capital letter A, lines of symmetry, split it right down the middle because it is the exact same on the left and on the right. So we're going to have one line of symmetry. And if we try to rotate it, if we look at it 90 degrees, it's going to look like that. 180, it's going to look upside down. So this one, no rotational symmetry because it will take all 360 degrees to get it to look exactly the same. The triangle, if we try to split it here, no, that's not in half. That wouldn't be in half. Basically, what you look for is that the, all of these sides are different lengths. Well, if they're all different lengths, then more than likely you're not going to have any line symmetry. And if we try to turn this around, it will only map on itself 360 degrees. So again, no rotational symmetry. All right, snowflake. Again, you're looking for how many equal pieces are in the pattern. And if you look at the snowflake, each one of these is exactly the same. So if you count those up, you have six little arms of your snowflake. All right, so again, you can split this then six different ways, and it would be splitting it in half. So six lines, and if we start with 360 and divide it by six, all right, the last one, number six, if we look at lines of symmetry, if we try to cut it here, that wouldn't be symmetrical on one side. This wouldn't be symmetrical. Um, if we cut it here, kind of all of these pieces on the interior would not kind of line up. So this one's going to have no lines of symmetry. However, if we rotate this, if we take it and rotate it 180 degrees, this will be the exact same down here. If we rotate it this way, same thing. This whole exact thing would be the same. So here is, is going to have rotational symmetry of 180 degrees.